like the co-op. And this co-op, this is when they bring in the food. Uh, my name is Adam Price, and I'm the operations manager of the Oklahoma Food Plaza. We are in the farmers market district of downtown Oklahoma City. We're in the the big main, big main building where you know the historical farmers market back in the you know back in, I guess the 30s or so yeah. uh, was where all the farmers brought their products, and we use this building for our once a month statewide delivery. Excellent. Well, I, I'm looking around and I'm seeing like Edmond and like yeah. Top Dog, yep. Yukon, yep. like various areas in Oklahoma. Why? Why are those here? What, yep. Where so every every everywhere that you know every, everywhere that you see a sign, we've got a pickup site. So tomorrow evening, we're basically just setting up today. Um, everywhere to our so tomorrow is going to be our delivery. So all the farmers and producers that have sold stuff to our website, uh, they'll bring it here to this building. It'll all get received, checked in, sorted by our volunteers, get put into the coolers by, you know, which location it's going to go to. And we operate roughly 50 pickup sites all over the state. So tomorrow evening, after we ship everything out, the co-op members who have purchased stuff through the website will go and pick up their orders. That's incredible. I, I heard that you do upwards, like above 50000 It's month. roughly, I would say a, a, an average month is somewhere between fifty dollars and $60,000. So that really means there's like $10,000 worth of produce in each of these representative sections being spent approximately. I know. Be more with Roughly, it, it, it varies depending on what time of the year it is. It's probably a little less than that now. Um, a lot of, I mean, probably by volume, most of the stuff that we distribute is local grass fed and frozen meats. And all that kind of stuff. So does it stay in big cities? Does it go to small towns? We've uh, got we've got stuff in big cities. We've got multiple locations in the Oklahoma City area, and a couple up in Edmond, a couple down in Norman, and then you know, of course, over in Tulsa as well. Um, but we've got a lot of smaller town locations also. You know, Muskogee, Callister, Ada. Seminole, at pretty much anywhere where there's enough interest um, in, in, in where there's where there's a large enough group of people that are interested in purchasing food through us, if it makes cost, you know, if it makes if it makes sense in terms of cost. Of course, we do incur a little bit of cost. We, um, we reimburse for mileage and stuff like that. So there are some costs, but as long as as long as we can at least break even on delivering, you know, the main the main the, the main goal of the organization is basically twofold: uh, to provide a, a sales opportunity for the local farmers and producers that sell their goods through us, and provide a, an access to good, healthy local food for anybody in the state that wants it. What's the furthest location that you guys? Have? It's pro I don't know by miles, but it's probably either Hollis down in the really extreme southwest corner of the state. Uh, we won't have that just because we have one of our farmers uh, lives down there and they take some product back with them when they go home. And uh, Tahlequah is almost Arkansas over on the east side. So those are probably the two farthest, but we, we pretty much have, we don't have a whole lot down in the southeast and the northwest is pretty sparse population too, so we don't have too much up there, but we try and, we try and get as far a reach as we can. Mostly these are just private folks that want uh, they want access to local food. So basically, basically when you buy through the co-op, you're buying direct from a farmer. We're just kind of facilitating the transaction. So this is this is really the best way in the state if you want to purchase, uh, other than farmers markets, of course, and, and the other retail outlets that also sell some of these products. This is a great way, especially for people in urban and in, in rural parts of the country, in parts of the state that don't necessarily have access. They can't just go, you know, they, they may not have a very large farmer's market to go to, and they don't have, you know, a, a native roots or an urban, uh, urban agrarian that, that carries a lot of local, local products. Yeah. So this is a great way for them to, to get it at least on a once a month basis. Do people ever discuss with you how they go about finding recipes or using the products that they get here? I know they order them online, right? We try and we, we, we've got a better uh, social media presence now. We actually just hired a marketing girl, so uh, we hope that, that that kind of social media presence will engender a little bit more um, a, a little bit more conversation yeah. with, with our, with our uh, members. To this point, most of the most of the communications with our members to and from has been mainly through email, and that's not always the most efficient way to do things. So, 
What do you think? You guys know some farmers? We can get out there and get directly onto a farm. And we could probably somebody? set that up if you if you're interested. I'd love in that. to do that. I um, think we should do it. There are quite a f- there there are some. I the, my go to was always there's a couple of folks down in Norman or down down close to the Norman area. If you're interested, there's not a whole lot of people in Oklahoma City that are actually doing a whole lot of farming. Right. But, um, yeah, we could probably hook that up if you're interested in doing that. That'd be incredible. I think we should definitely do yeah. that. Um, where do you guys? Uh, are there other major distribution centers, or is this it? This, this is, is this is where everything comes. So this is this is our central location. Uh, all the all the producers bring their stuff in here, and then it all goes out from here. How many volunteers? Tomorrow, on any given month, we'll probably have between thirty and forty volunteers that will come and come and pitch out. And, you know, some some folks only come, some folks will be here the whole day, and some folks will only be able to come for a couple hours or so. But I mean, we welcome anybody to to come for as much as they can and kind of see the process and get involved. What times it start? What times? Eight to four, typically. Uh, we have we have farmers that generally start showing up and bring their products in. Maybe a little bit before eight, but I typically advertise eight to four here. And then how can people find you to order? Uh, our website is www.oklahomafood.coop.coop instead of .com. We're at the farmer's market and I just saw something incredible. This is from the Paseo Plunge. I don't know if that's in this. Oh, that's not in the screen. All right. That is from the Paseo Plunge, and here's Jody, the owner of the Farmer's Market. <laughs> so, what, what is that? Um, we, before we bought this, we used to own a bunch of apartments and buildings in Paseo, and we were one of the first down there to start renovating everything, and somebody that worked for us um, came and bought that, found it at a restaurant bar, What? and somehow got it. I'm not sure how. <laughs> but anyway, and gave that to us because he thought that I would really appreciate that. Yeah. So I had a friend. That's incredible. And I love it. Oh, yeah, that's I amazing. I do appreciate yeah. it. I do. I do love it. <laughs> and this is Katie. And this Hi. is Brian. Brian really runs the place. Yeah, he's running Brian. away. <laughs> he really runs the place. Just so you know. <laughs> Katie does. She's our event coordinator. Event coordinator. And uh, other odds and ends. She's our go-to gal for any kind of design, <laughs> design work. She's amazing. So like the, um, the movie night posters, so she does some of those. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and she does then, the logos. She's been working on her logos. Oh, nice. Yeah. And our she does her banners and things. What kind of events do we have here? Oh, we have it all. We have uh, non-profits that come in and uh, do their auctions or galas. Um, even some fashion shows sometimes. Um, we do weddings and quinceañeras and Concert. concerts, lots of concerts. Um, mixed martial arts. Yeah, we even have uh, mixed martial arts, MMA, and boxing. And it's really interesting to see how one night it could be a boxing or an MMA cage fight, and the next day it's a beautiful wedding. Yeah. So we have a really good team. <laughs> and um, art, show. art shows, lots of art shows. Uh, and just kind of anything. It's such a great space that's really able to be utilized. Field nights. Ways. That's our newest. Yeah, we have movie nights. Movie nights. Yeah. Movie right. Night. I talked about the movie nights earlier. Did you? Yeah. 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 They're fun. They're a lot of fun. We have free popcorns. Mm-hmm. Kids are welcome. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The full kids, bar. Kids were though. watching the labyrinth. Mm-hmm. Was it the bartender's kid that was? And it was like Courtney. And they dress, and all dress awesome. up. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, they have costumes. Yeah, people will dress up, and there will be performers, a magician, and stuff like that. I don't care. Those are like. Specialty ones, but then uh, yeah, we have costume contests. Uh, we have lots of fun. I would have a lot of fun doing We have that. a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next thing coming up? Uh, like Just this weekend, we have a wedding. We've kind of had a quiet week. And then a shoe convention. We, oh, yes, we have uh, Cape Lahoma, which is a shoe convention, which I'm not I don't, not really familiar New too shoes, much because I was in the last year. It's, it's pretty darn big. And then we uh, coming up, we have our, our movie night. Um, Army of Darkness and Lost the Lost Boys. Boys. Then we're also having a horror film festival on the Ooh. 30th. Oh, we have Mixed Martial Arts. Oh, we have MMA. MMA. Yeah, we have MMA coming up, and then um, weddings, 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 and I, I, I'm not right in front of my calendar, so I don't know what concerts we've got coming up. We've got a lot of concerts. Um, October 22nd, we have Haterade, which yeah. is uh, EDM trap. Yeah, and then we will go into kind of the Christmas season, lots of holiday parties and. 
that should be a lot of fun. So yeah. if anybody wants to book a Christmas party or you know business event or anything like that, where do they go to? They'll come to me. And how do we find you? Uh, on the website, there is my email and uh, uh, also a contact form. So, and the uh, website is okcfarmersmarket.com. Yeah. It's real simple. It's yeah. a great website. Yeah. Oh, and the food truck park. Yes, and the food truck part. She'll be doing event coordinating for that as well. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Okay. So, and that's the Del Mar Gardens food truck part. Yeah. Right. And the website will be, it's almost ready. It's almost ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, just yeah. flash a little under construction sign. Like it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she did the new logo. Oh, she did. Okay. okay. So, yeah, what we're planning on doing, um, where you can rent a tent, and we do have a climate control tent out there. So, if you want to have a food truck here, you you can have a party, you can have an open air tent, wow. you can have a climate control tent, and then you can have food trucks, you know, as your food, um, you can have a full bar. This is everything. Yeah. It'd be fun. It'd be great to have an event there like that. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. That'll be a good, a lot of fun. Do you know when um, that'll open up? We'll be opening up at the beginning of November. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that'll be really cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. so we'll have that. yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. And yeah, so we have lots of fun things happening. Yeah. That's um, 